Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I wanted to do kind of a different take on my Steal Her Style series that I know many of you love so much. As you know we're in the middle of moving right now so I had to be a little bit creative with today's video because everything's a bit hectic right now. The house, at least over half of the house, is looking quite disastrous. So I only have this little spot where I'm standing today that I can actually sit down and create some content for you. So I really hope that you like this video. I hope that you like the concept and maybe it's something that we can pick back up on once we're moved fully into a new place. Let me know down below how you like this video and if it's something that you see me continue to make. So you guys know how much I love shopping my own wardrobe. That's also why I've created that whole Steal Her Style series. I love coming up with new outfit combinations that I find maybe on Pinterest, on Instagram, just anywhere basically maybe it's the styling of a brand some of their new collections that i really love or maybe i simply let cladwell come up with new outfit combos for me and then i fall back in love with my entire wardrobe so that's the beauty of shopping your wardrobe and that's also kind of the message that i wanted to share with you in this video so for today's video i have found five different outfits on pinterest that i've gotten inspired by when i built together these outfits and then I've sort of given most of them my own little twist because obviously I need to use my own things. So yeah, I think without any further ado, let's have a look at the outfits that I've created for today's video. So let's have a look at the first outfit that I was inspired to recreate. And the reason why I was particularly drawn to this outfit is especially because she's wearing a denim jacket and I feel like spring is the season of the revival of denim jackets. I feel like this is a season where you whip out all of your, yeah, denim jackets, leather jackets, all of the more lighter outerwear. So I really want to remind myself to use my denim jacket more regularly. So I've put together this outfit with just a plain black t-shirt and then a pair of black tailored trousers and then my trusty good old denim jacket from H&M that I've had for many, many years. And then I decided to put my hair up in a low bun with this scrunchie. I actually found this in the back of my beauty drawer the other day. I completely forgot that I had it. And I've been wearing it a lot recently. I really like scrunchies again, somehow. I don't know why. Um, but I just make sure to make a low bun and to make it kind of messy so that it doesn't look too cute because I'm not really about that kind of look. And then to give the look a bit of a statement, I decided to add my, or my husband's, Wayfarer sunglasses because I think that she's probably wearing some designer sunglasses. These are probably Celine or something like that. But I feel like the classic Wayfarer is both more affordable, but it's kind of also the same story, you know? Then for the shoes, I decided to go for my classic Acne Studios boots. I like that they're pointed just to make it a bit more edgy and yeah i feel like the boots that she's wearing in this picture is a bit more clumsy and not really my style so i wanted to add these instead So let's move on to the second outfit. This is by Sofia Coppola, the film director. I've already made a Steal Her Style based upon her style recently. And I love her style. It's very classic, kind of feminine, also a bit too feminine, feminine for my taste sometimes. But again, I'm very drawn to this very classic and timeless way that she tends to dress. So it seems as though she's just wearing a basic white t-shirt, similar to one that I already have in my wardrobe a pair of mid blue straight leg jeans and then a black blazer. Um, so this is something that I wear on a regular basis myself. It's a total no brainer to me, but I really like the fact that she had closed her blazer just to give it a bit of something else. She's also roosted up the sleeves of her blazer, which is something that I always love. I think that it, it just makes you look a bit more casual. And then for shoes, I went into the back of my occasion wear shelf and I dug out these Topshop Juno heels with a round toe. So these are kind of like a pair of granny heels. Remember a couple of years ago, these were just everywhere. I love these. They're obviously not from an ethical brand or anything like that. These are from way before I got into ethical fashion, but I still love them and I still wear them um, occasionally anyway. So I wanted to add those to this outfit because I feel like it's a very smart cash kind of outfit both for a daily look if you want to dress up a bit more with the pumps or for a night out maybe. So let's move 
move on to outfit number three. I have mentioned a lot lately that I'm all about those neutrals for spring and I'm also all about these all white outfits where you just kind of give it some contrast with a jacket or the shoes or anything like that. So that's kind of why I fell in love with this particular outfit. Um, I wanted to kind of give it my own twist so make it a bit more spring appropriate. So instead of adding a pair of boots, I have added a pair of leopard flats. So let me just show you the outfit here. We have a gray boyfriend blazer from Everlane. Then I have a white t-shirt and then a pair of white boyfriend jeans also from Everlane. So these are all old favorites, which is the case with most of these items right here. There's nothing new here. It's only the combination of these outfits that I'm kind of trying to think outside of the box. I know that they're very basic still, but yeah, anyway. And then, like I said, instead of going for a pair of boots, I wanted to add a pair of leopard flats to the look to make it just a bit more spring appropriate. And then also add a brown bag to the whole look to tie the colors with the shoes because they have kind of like this brown spot right here in the leopard print. Tie that all really nice together. So just a really lovely, easy going kind of spring look. to the fourth outfit this is by sincerely jewels that i'm sure many of you already follow on instagram she has like a million followers and she's got great style i like the way that she puts her outfits together um so this is a very almost summery kind of look because she's wearing a straw hat she's also wearing a straw bag and it's not quite summer yet so i wanted to keep it still more appropriate for spring so i've ditched the straw hat i'm gonna just not wear a hat but I've still kept some of the elements from this outfit. So here we have my good old shirt from H&M and then a pair of boyfriend Levi's jeans that are sort of trashy, like her jeans also are, like they have this busted knee right here, which I think is very suitable for this look. And then I decided to go for my Ray-Ban rounds for the look to kind of keep the same the same feeling with the accessories as she's wearing in this photo. And then for shoes, she's wearing like these very cute cream colored loafers. I don't have anything like that in my own wardrobe, but I do have a pair of brown loafers, which I have right here. These are from Everlane. And I've mentioned recently that I just got them blocked out by my cobblers because they're so incredibly tight and now they fit like a dream. So I wanna make sure to wear them as much as I possibly can. And I feel like it's a good compromise for the cream flats that she's wearing in this photo. So a very casual, chic kind of outfit. And when it really starts to get a bit warmer, I'll probably add that straw hat to this look as well. So the final outfit is inspired by a photo of Michelle Williams walking her dog. And I was so drawn to this look because it's something that I totally see myself wearing, obviously, because that's what this video is all about. But it's just so edgy, chic, very classic, very kind of like a no-brainer as well. And that's just the sort of outfits that I love. I always feel great in that kind of outfits. So what we have here is a pair of vintage Levi's jeans with a raw hem. I don't really have anything similar to those jeans that she's wearing in this picture, although that I really like the wash of these jeans. But I'm just gonna go for these because I love them. And then instead of going for a really heavy wool jumper that it looks like she's wearing, I went for my Everlane um, crop neck, not, I always say that, crop mock neck top. <laughs> Um, so this is a cotton knit, it's very lightweight and it's very suitable for this time of year because it's not too warm. Which I think that very heavy wool jumpers are often too warm for this very transitional kind of weather. Um, and then on top I decided to just go for my classic good old black leather jacket. I could also have gone for my um, beige biker jacket to make it just a bit more spring appropriate, but I wanted to keep it just very classic for this outfit. And then she's wearing a pair of leopard flats for the look. So of course I had to add my own 
similar leopard flats for this whole look as well and I feel like again these are so great for just sassing up a very basic outfit like this and that's why I love them so much. have it guys that were five outfits that I have been really inspired by lately over on my Pinterest I also have a lot of similar outfits saved from Instagram or again as I said from just from brands if I really like their styling or Cladwell outfits anything really I love shopping my own wardrobe and although these outfits are very similar to what I usually come up with just little tweaks here and there can really make a huge difference for me and Again, like I said, I love these basic no-brainer types of outfits because it's what I wear most of the time. I feel great, easy going, but still put together. So I really hope that you guys like the format of this video. Um, I will, of course, also be doing my regular steal her style when we have moved into the new place. I just need a bit of time through these next couple of weeks. So I really hope that you still enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you leave. And also make sure you swing by my Instagram and say hi. I'd love to chat to some of you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.